So let's do another experiment with cling film, but this time we're going to use some gum arabic as well. So we're going to wet the paper, just with a big Chinese brush here. You can use a wash brush, a sponge, or even a hake. Want to get it nicely damp as it doesn't want to dry it too quickly. Secondly, I've put my gum into the palette here, so all I need is a little scoop of gut gum, and now I brush that gum into the wash. Let's put it all in. So we've now just got water with some gum in it, so it's a stickier wash. So now, let's put a big, strong, blue on the paper. And just for fun, I'm going to put some pink in the middle. And you can see the gum is producing some nice effects. So we've got a bit of variety in this wash. And just to really jazz things up, I'm going to take a clean brush and add some patches of cadmium yellow. So we've got a red, blue, yellow wash. Okay, straightforward. Now we're going to take a bit of cling film. I'm stretching it across. And I'm going to lay it straight into the middle. And I'm pulling it sideways. I'm going for the horizontal look here. So although you can see, let's zoom in so you can see what's happening, you can see the sort of patterns we're going to get here. If you have got a chance, you can sort of pinch shapes out a bit or lift the cling film and rearrange it slightly. But really you're down to the mercy of how it goes on the paper. <coughs> and now we have got to let it totally dry. If we take it off, at this point, the wash will just go back into its um, original state it dries. So this way we have got to wait patiently for it to dry. If you're as impatient as me, you can accelerate the process with a hairdryer just to, um, or put it by a radiator, put it in the sun to get the paper to dry more quickly. So I've removed the cling film. Let's see what we've got. Some really nice patterns going across the center. Now, is this a landscape? Is it a seascape? Is it some close-ups or some plant forms? This is where your imagination can take over. I've got a suggestion though. Having a, painted it like this, there might be a chance to use some crowns to enhance the effect. The, um, by the way, the change, the difference between this and a non-gummed cling, uh, non cling film experiment is there's a lot of extra speckling, and that's down to the surface tension that the gum has created. It's produced a bit more mark making in this wash. So let me just show you one final little trick you can do with this. If you take a soluble crown, let's just reinforce the effect. Follow the lines that the cling film has left behind. Same sort of colour, just putting it in, reinforcing it. So it creates a sort of structure in the middle here. You can do a couple of shades as a different a different pink. And this time taking a a cadmium yellow to reinforce the the yellow. So of course you can lay more colours on top with your watercolours, with your brush, with inks. 
it's a great way of experimenting with your mark making and just producing something a little bit different. So having done that with my crayon, being a soluble crayon, I can take a, a small brush now, just as a number two, with water, and just wet what I've done, just intensify, just saturate the colour slightly. And we're producing a really nice thread-like structure. The crown, of course, gives you the chance to do it in a way that's very simple to control. So just with the yellow, the same. Another little trick is you can take your crayon like this with a wet brush, just take a little bit of colour off the crayon and you can put in little accents of colour, little tiny touches of colour in a very simple and controlled way. That's of course if you're using <coughs> water soluble um, crayons or pencils, these are Prismalos, Prismalo 1s or 2s, Caran d'Ache, they're great, but there are lots of different makes out there that work just as well. Thank you.